Hello students, the distal end radius fracture is a very important concept for your NEET PG and your INICT exam. So let's study this concept with the help of four stories. An elderly postmenopausal woman comes in with a history of fall on an outstretched hand with her wrist being in dorsiflexion. Her clinical images look like this and her x-rays look like this. Can you diagnose the condition? This is a case of a Coley's fracture. A Coley's fracture is an extra articular distal end radius fracture where the distal fragment goes into dorsal angulation. So in clinical images, there will be a dinner fork deformity that is seen. Another story is of an elderly adult who has a fall on an outstretched hand, but this time the wrist goes into plantar flexion. Her clinical images look something like this and her x-rays look like this. Can you diagnose this condition? This is a case of a Smith or a Goyrand Smith fracture where there is an extra articular distal end radius fracture but here the distal fragment goes into volar angulation. So on clinical images you will get a garden spade deformity. The third story is of a young man who has had a high velocity injury to the wrist and following this he comes with an x-ray looking like this. Now can you diagnose this fracture? So this is a case of a Barton's fracture where there is damage to the intra-articular rim. So it is an intra-articular fracture with distal articular rim being damaged and it can be of two types. If the distal fragment is going into volar angulation, it is a volar Barton. If the distal fragment is going into dorsal angulation, it is dorsal Barton. Now the fourth story is of a chauffeur or a driver back in the 1950s and back then the cars had to be shattered with a crankshaft and to start the car the driver goes outside and rotates this crank handle and as the car starts the handle starts rotating in the opposite direction and because of this sometimes the handle used to hit the wrist and these patients came in with an x-ray looking somewhat like this. So this is a chauffeur's fracture or also called as a backfire fracture or also called as the Hutchinson's fracture where there is an intra-articular fracture of the isolated radial styloid. So this was about the four important distal end radius fractures with the help of four stories. Happy learning!